咪咪。OK。Hey you guys, it's Shauna. It's probably been a year, but I'm back and I'm itching to do some makeup. So let's get started. Today I have a really cool set to show you guys. I have partnered with Artiste and they sent me this cool elite collection. Um, it is five brushes and you could do your entire makeup routine with it. Um, so I want to show you guys how to use these and my overall review. Um, along with these, they also sent me some brush cleansing wipes. And then along with these, um, also a brush cleansing pad, which is super interesting and I'm so excited to try it. I haven't tried these before. Um, so let's get started. First, I just gotta clip her hair back. And now we're ready. So first I'm gonna show you the brushes. This is the Elite Collection. There are five brushes. Um, they can do eyeshadow, lip color, foundation, concealer, blush, eyeliner, brow perfecting goodness. Um, like literally, if you look at this one, it is. Let me just wanted to say hello. Say hi, everyone. Okay, I'll let you down. So, as I was saying, this is so thin and so perfect just to get in all of the right areas. We're going to get started. Um, first, I'm going oh, to open up these guys here. Um, so this is the brush cleaning pad and it's ultimately a stretched microfiber sheet uh, and you can even open the inside like this. And they also sell like replacements for these. Um, so you can pop them in the wash, put them back on, and use it again and again. So I really like that reusing. Um, and then there's also the brush cleaning wipes. And it comes like this. And you kind of pull this off. Okay, and you just kind of pull this off like that. Super cool. Um, I personally am not a makeup wipe fan just for your face because one, you are tugging at the skin as well as it's just not great for the environment, um, but trying to minimize this use as much as possible, great. And then on top of that, there is this brush cleaning pad. So they're all ready. Um, so when you clean, I'll get into that once I start using it. So I've already moisturized, but I'm gonna start off using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, and this is my favorite. I love the Tatcha one, but it's just not worth it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna get the brush directly in the product because that's just too much buildup on the brush itself. So I'm gonna use my very clean hands. I'd be very clean. Wash your hands, people. This time now, people are getting sick and it ain't fun. And we need to stop the spread of coronavirus. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna get this all over my face with this brush. This one is the Oval 7 brush. And the Oval 7 um, is the perfect size brush for applying foundation, contour blush, highlight, bronzing, and setting powder. Um, but I'm going to use it for primer. So here we go. And it's literally so soft. Like, and you don't even have to be too hard. It just like perfectly blends. It doesn't pick up the product. It really does save your, your product as well. And it really evenly distributes, which is my favorite. 
So I'm just gonna clean this brush because although it was primer, I still want to get that stuff out. So I'm gonna take white. Oh, and it's a very, very thin. It's, it smells very fragrant. So if you have issues with fragrance, just be careful. Of course, you're not at wiping it directly on your face, but you know, to use this, I've never used these before. Um, so gently wipe, massage the brush fiber with the wipe until all makeup residue has been removed from the fiber bundle. Finish by wiping the fiber bundle across the microfiber cloth to remove any remaining cleaning solution. So then after you do that gently, you just take the dropping things already you just take the microfiber and give it a little massage not too heavy and it's like already dry like i can use this again right now so i think that is so awesome so next i'm going to contour and i'm going to be using my morphe dimension effect contour stick in hashtag effect 13 and I love this thing. I use it when I'm trying to get a natural look and I do it underneath my foundation just so it doesn't look too much on top. And whenever I put any foundation, uh, not foundation stick, excuse me, contour stick on top of my foundation, I feel like it starts to get muddy. So I still like using any powder product on top of my foundation. So I'm gonna use this below that. And I'm gonna contour from above my ear, kind of towards my mouth, but not like at my mouth, just because you don't want such a low looking contour. And then I kind of get above my I was gonna say eyebrow that's not your eyebrow I don't know why I can't speak English today above your on top at the top of your forehead and then also just kind of angling the jawline and then I'll do And then we're gonna go back in with the oval seven and i like to just blend up and out for my cheeks and you can really just use a really light hand and for the jawline just blend down to blend in with your neck. You don't want to go up. You want to get that really nice line. ready for a highlight. Again, I'm going to take the brush. I'm using the same wipe. I don't want to waste them. And just get it all on that wipe. And then back on the cleansing pad cleaning pad I should say it's so easy like literally I'm kind of taking my time for this video but ultimately like this takes almost no time at all so I'm gonna use the instant age rewind eraser in the shade ivory and I'm just gonna Get her 
into these little triangles here, just like that. I don't like getting highlight on my forehead just because my forehead personally is pretty big. So I try to avoid that at all costs, um, but I do just like getting my highlight in. So going back in with the same brush. same process again now I'm gonna go in with my foundation I'm gonna mix two foundations um, one is the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth in the shade 240 just because it's summertime and I'm a little darker and then I'm gonna use a Juvia's place I am magic foundation and this stuff is so full coverage it's so good um, I just use a very little bit of it and it's a velvety matte finish um also might I add Juvia's Place is a black owned business so totally please go purchase Juvia's Place because not only is it black owned it's such a good foundation so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger And then also with this, like I said, you don't want to go directly on, on your brush with the Artiste brushes, um, just because, you know, it makes your brush last so much longer and not only, like, it doesn't pick up that much product at all. So here we go. And I'm going to blend it. It's fragrant anymore. Um, I don't know if that's because I've been using it and I'm used to the smell or if it's transferring onto the brush. Um, and like so far I've only used this one brush so that's also amazing. And dry, clean, amazing. So now I am going to go in with my powder products. I am going to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Fair Powder. I personally am not going to buy any more Jeffree Star products, but that's just the tea sis. It smells so good. And then um, I'm going to actually put some powder onto the lid here and um, for the powder products you can kind of put it on the brush itself and I'm just going to set my under eyes and you can actually sweep with this. So now I am back and we're in clean. 
Also, side note, I really like this whole process here because I don't know about you, but I use 110 brushes in one sitting and then I don't clean my brushes. So this, not only are you not using so many brushes, but you're cleaning as you go and I'm really bad at that as far as makeup brushes go. I am going to use my Be A Light um, Becca palette. It comes, this is really old, I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but it's my favorite thing ever. It comes with a, like a highlighter powder, um, all over face powder, and then also a darker shade, um, but it's very luminous and it has a, a small amount of shimmer, but it's very, very fine. Um, and then a contour, bronzer and then also my favorite favorite blush ever is this one so this is the light to medium face palette like i said i'm not sure if they sell it anymore i've had it forever but all-time favorite i'm just gonna go in with my powders i'm gonna do my blush first and just kind of get a little bit on there and i kind of like to go over my nose a little bit too i'm not gonna re-clean it but I'm just gonna go in with bronzer as well and I'm gonna start with my forehead here really love browns so I am actually gonna go in with my Be A Light um, palette if I can get it open again so now all of the smaller brushes we're gonna get into I'm gonna use the oval four and like I said with this Becca palette I'm gonna use the darker um, the darker powder here just to kind of blend with my contour. This brush is used for your lid um, up until the crease, pretty much, and the fibers really just work with that space, which is so nice. Um, I'm not gonna use any, um, I'm not gonna use like my paint pot or a uh, an eyelid primer just because I want to go for like a really natural soft look and so I just don't you know what I just did I put the wrong shade I used my bronzer in this one but that's fine I was gonna go for it anyway um, so we're just gonna blend and my eyes kind of droop so what I like to do is try and go as upward as possible with that outside line so it just kind of lifts it more one brush um, the really thin one and I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer I've used and I'm just gonna follow my lash line just so I can kind of get that all blended together <music> go in using my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette in the shade Cocoa Truffle 
and I'm gonna take the Oval 3 brush, which is a little smaller than the one I had just used, which was the Oval 4, um, and I'm just gonna get a light hand on it and pop it in the outer corner of my eye. And like I said, I wanted to not make it as opaque. Why people gotta use their little motorcycles and drive by my place? Not a fan. Just like that. And I'm gonna blend, don't worry. I'm gonna use a different brush for that. And pop it on the other side. take the circle 1R brush and it's just like a really circular bristle and it's used to really get into um, in the crease and just having a nice natural blend. I'm gonna go in with um, Rich Girl and Famous, these two here, and I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner of my eye. obsessed with doing a smoky eyeliner and we're gonna go for it so so I'm gonna use a dark brown um, Morphe lip liner well it's a lip liner and an eyeliner duo and I'm going to line my eyes up and out. Take that same eyeliner and pop it in my waterline. And then I'm gonna actually take the same liner and I have my eyebrows microbladed, but she needs to be redone and retouched up. And COVID's not letting me do that right now, so, so I'm going to do that myself. And I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer and clean up my brows. This is like my favorite brush for it. <music> So brows are on and now I am going to curl my lashes. This is actually a um, a false lash curler that I bought from Sephora. It is my all-time favorite eyelash curler. Um, so I'm just going to curl my lashes. Um, the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. It's not necessarily my favorite, but I use it for the eyelashes that I'm going to use today. Magnetic lashes today 
to be honest with you, I don't have the package anymore, so I have no idea what style these are, but they are from Ardell. Um, they were like $15 at Target, and I thought I'd try them, um, and it comes with the, oh, oh, they're not Ardell, they're Eiler. <laughs> they are Eiler um, Pro Magnetic, that's the exact line. However, like I said, I have no idea what style these are. I apologize. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the eyeliner. They say to use two layers, and I try to go as thin as possible just because I like my little smoky eye look um, with my other eyeliner that I put on. So I'm just gonna go really thin. eyeliner to dry um i side note i just really want to try the glamnetic lashes i just haven't had a chance to but i would love to and then another thing with these specifically the eyeliner ones that i purchased um there's only four magnets and so my eyes are smaller so i definitely cut and i cut past the last magnet if that makes sense so what i did is i had actually like super glued part of the last magnet that i had removed onto this so that it could fit my eye well this lip liner by Morphe. It is in the shade Backseat Love. Out matte in the shade Current Nude, that on top. And this is the final look, you guys. I am so happy with the way this turned out. This is my normal makeup routine, but as far as using artiste brushes, it's not something that I normally do. Um, I've used this for the past maybe two weeks and I am obsessed with the finish it gives from powder, cream, everything that I use. Um, I didn't have to pick up a single brush from outside of this collection. Um, so I do want to thank Artiste for sending me this collection as well as the brush cleaning wipes and the brush cleaning pad. Um, it is so great, so easy to use, um, and I also partnered with them to get you guys a code for 25% off. Um, use Jonna25, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I give this a 9 out of 10 just because I'm still getting used to using it in my everyday routine, but it's so easy. And like I said, it keeps my brushes clean. For instance, like I can literally show you right now in like my makeup like brush bag that I just like kind of take with me to travel that like these brushes are not clean and it causes acne and a whole nother, 
a whole nother story. Um, but as far as the fibers on the brush being so soft, it doesn't tug your face. I just have nothing but good things to say about them other than the fact that you just kind of have to get used to it because holding the brush itself is not exactly the same as holding a regular makeup brush that you are probably used to. But again, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and one more thing. Can y'all wear your mask, please? I don't care if you have a cute makeup look. Do a cute eye look like this and you can wear it and you can go outside and look super cute. I'll link this mask in the description below as well, but please wear your mask, help stop the spread, buy from black owned businesses as much as you can right now um, and love one another. I love you guys and I will see you hopefully in my next video coming very, very soon. Thanks you guys.